And the plot thickens. Luffy is looking for a crocodile. The tomb is collapsing. Nico Robin's dead. They're still searching for the bomber. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I Shinobi. We have episodes 124 and 125 of our One Piece watch through today. Again, it's been an absolutely absurd last couple of episodes. We're going to hop right into it without wasting any time. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. And let's get started. <laughs> God dang, dude, that's way further underground than I anticipated. I don't know why. And he's just running in there, not afraid of a god dang thing. That's my captain, baby. -na. Oh, I haven't heard this OST in a minute. I swear this last time we heard this was like Captain Kuro. Am I wrong? I'm vibing. Sorry, guys. I know everything's about to blow up. I'm vibing. Wait. Wait! Don't tell me I'm correct. Please don't tell me I'm correct and it's in the clock. Everybody's gonna be on my ass, bro. Please tell me it's not in the clock. Also, if it is, why did she not realize it? She just flashed back to him being like, wow, look at this big open space inside the clock. Zoro. Zoro. How did you get there? And where is that forest? That has to be miles away. No, Usopp's greatest power yet. Nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> what the hell was that, man? He's so brave. Damn, there's the hat. R.I.P. Ribozo. Smoking on that Miss All Sunday pack. Has the clock run out? Luffy's about to run in, but I don't know his plan. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oh, there's Luffy. I just don't understand how he expects to defeat Crocodile without water, bro. It's kind of said that juxtaposition, though, of, like, he needs water and, like, the expectation. Oh, Croc looks scared! I guess because he thought Luffy was dead again for the second time. And my man just keeps coming back. This hole looks gatorish. <laughs> Even Cobra's like, yeah, I don't get it too, man. She is moving? Brother Croc, how do you stab people through the heart and fail? Oh. Actually, yeah, rain too. Oh, I was right. It is everything, basically. Dude, it feels like it's even been a long time since we just got to Alabasta, let alone finding out about everything that was happening. It has been a hell of a journey. <sighs> I miss Ace. Aww. It is reminding me a lot about Nami, about how broken Nami was and how upset that made him. That's what I'm saying! Oh. How did that work? How? Is it just because he's simply angry? Is there an explanation? Or is it literally just willpower? He didn't explain anything, just hits him again! Giga Chad! I don't get it either, man! How is he doing this? Using blood? Oh! Oh my god! That is metal, dude. He he laughs. Wonder what he means, like reward you, like by letting me. What? Is that like poison gas? He's been hiding this ace for a long time. It is poison. Oh my gosh, if he gets swung on that but like one singular time. Yeah, pirates just that's kind of their whole thing. I don't think Luffy really plays dirty though, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there's his ace in the hole, like I said. I knew he was hiding at least one thing like that, aside from just being stronger. He can't get hit a single time. That is so badass that he's using blood i didn't think about that man i did not even think about that oh, this is a little, oh, a little awkward <laughs> probably less than three seconds <laughs> what the hell why are they leading him yeah, what is happening? We knew you weren't good with directions, but this is absurd. They might as well just look at the camera. Well, well, well. Papa shows up. Oh, wait. Mama shows up. 
Giga Chan! I saw the blade! She has a, a, a new sort of drive to her. I'm glad Smoker left. This gave her a big, like, chance to, like... She's gonna be different after this. Assuming she lives. Yeah, he did give her that pass. That's right. She's changing things based on how she's seeing things. I like it, dude. My God, the more time goes on, the more sure I am that it's in the goddamn clock tower. It only makes sense. It's in plain sight. She's going towards it. Either that or, like I said, underground. There's no other options at this point. Yeah. She can't stop anything now. There's Nami and Chopper. Hard to find each other through all this dust. Dude, it is the clock. No, dude. No. No way. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was right. I don't want to sound like a genius. There were only so many options. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go back on that video. There's going to be so many comments. What can I say? I'm something of a prophet. If Pell knew, he could fly right there right now. He's a little bit lost, though. <gasps> no. Ribbit, Ribbit, go. What? Who was that? What? No, Pell! Who the hell has a frog gun? Oh, no. No one's going to find him either. Again, one singular person changes the course of everything. Oh, he, he got him. He actually got him. I think. Maybe not. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get, get. Watch your blind spot. Again, it looked like it hit him. Okay, I knew it was poisonous. That's straight up like corrosive. Oh, he actually did get a hit in. This is so hype, dude. This is so goddamn hype. Collapses second by second. Where's Cobra? They're both fighting with such passion and aggression. Nice. Control. Control the hook. Good. <laughs> Cobra's just like, God damn, this is a, this is a sick fight. Yeah. Luffy's just built a little bit different, baby. Kind of sad he's not fighting in the straw hat. He left it back at the palace. Yeah, not a single. Oh, did he get him? <laughs> I think he can say the same to you, Luffy. That's a goddamn frog gun. And why are they just chilling behind a door? Is this... Oh. Uh, what? Wait, she actually left a message? <laughs> Go up there and beat him up. Oh. Is that him? What? Guys, go up! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> They're so dumb, dude. They have good intentions, though. How do you get it? Do you have to go in like... Oh, stairs in the... Oh, my God. How many stairs is that? You could try and destroy the clock tower. Oh, like it would explode. Oh, if they just destroyed the clock tower, the cannonball would fall and just explode. Dude, poor Pell. Oh, it's whoever's behind the clock tower that shot it. That was the giant door. Mr. Seven? What? Mr. Seven and his partner were put behind this insanely important... Oh, my God. They look exceptionally annoying. Miss Father's Day? <laughs> These are the two behind one of the most important parts of Crocodile's plan. Are you serious? You run it back, episode 125. Let's get it. <laughs> As they have giant Baroque Works logos and stuff on them. <laughs> Yes, ma'am! God damn it. Did his shirt say I heart Miss Valentine or something? What was his jacket? Was it like like merch for Baroque works? This is what I like to see! They ain't taking no prisoners! God dang, that is a gigantic cannon. Oh, these two are already insufferable. It almost makes me miss Mrs. Christmas. That is an absurdly large cannon. Like, it's almost ridiculous. I cannot stand his laugh. This is almost worse than uh, Waffles. Somebody has to make it up there. And I feel like anyone can handle them. They do not look that powerful. I mean, they're Mr. Seven and Miss Father's Day. I, they can't be that powerful. I mean, if Zoro can take down Mr. One, they should be a breeze. 
<laughs> He's not giving him a single answer. God dang, dude, the momentum. Luffy ain't messing around. Just give it to him, baby. Keep going. I like how serious he is. It feels good. Dude, these shots of Croc's face are so good. He's on the brink. Oh. So nope, it is actually season. affecting him. Okay. I'm gonna say, there's no way he's just straight up immune to poison. 15 seconds. What can they do? Ribbit, ribbit. I cannot stand these two. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. She can use it to send something up there. She has BB on top of Chopper and Usopp. Like a chemical reaction or something. Oh. Let's go, Nami! Oh, but she could get something up there. Did, wait, what did she mean? Make for the clock tower. Wait, what? Yeah, okay! <laughs> Chopper's face, bro! <laughs> Just keep jumping? It is an absurd plan. Go, Chopper! They just keep using the momentum. Yeah. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Meanwhile, Usopp's like dead from it. Throw them. You're going to throw them with the momentum. Oh, because he learned also. Oh, I guess not to not to not cut. Yeah, he did use the back of the blade. I was going to say something way deeper. Like, I was going to say like he learned to not like to cut without cutting, but... No, just get them up there in time! Oh. Cobra's getting this entire perspective, too. Tell him, Luffy. Tell him, baby. It's a perspective that Crocodile can't really understand. Damn. Just get up there in time! You're just gonna have to dodge. <laughs> he said it's all up to you, Chopper. He is literally down to the wire. Oh, are they like heat seeking? Oh, they're explosive. Oh no. Dude, Zoro's taking like a billion hits. It, I think he took it knowing that he would have to. God damn, Chopper! Let's go, baby! I like that it's up to Vivi, though, to stop this for her country. Four seconds. Chopper, no! She's up above them. It's appropriate that it's up to her. There's three. I like the style. This is cool. There is no way that they were like, yeah, intercut here perfect at least either let it explode or let her stop them first you animals sorry i'll i'll be nice and then we got away says you you've been brought to this point crocodile oh now now we're back okay she has to stop the fuse first off she wasn't aiming for you guys hopefully she was aiming for the fuse let's go straight up just knocked them off also, how is Chopper going to land? Just whip it or something. It's, it's all come down to this. These seconds. These seconds are everything. Everything's been leading to this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is it flashbacking? Chaka and Pell low-key, like, surprise breakouts of this. They knew where the secret base was all along. Damn, what a contrast. The time passed. It didn't fire. She had to have. Let's go! That's what I'm talking about, Vivi. That is what I'm talking about. Kind of unsettling how it doesn't even feel like rejoiceful. You're just going to let him land? Sanji, you dick! Chopper landed on a Marine! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Seven and his father's day just laying there. What happened? Oh no, there's a backup plan. Oh no. Just in case the fuse isn't set. I think the only plan is like to aim it somewhere else, honestly. Like maybe a part of the desert will blow up, but still. I mean, Crocodile has been very meticulous up until now. Like I guess there's no way he leaves everything up to Mr. Seven and Miss Father's Day to, to detonate it. A few dozen seconds. I give it a minute. 
Nah, that was the ticking she heard. Yeah, was just the timer sure. going off. There's no way she can straight up just move the cannon though. He's saying it's all all an inevitability oh, still. Oh my gosh. She can't do anything. What can you do? Oh, there's always a way. He almost did it knowing they would try to stop it like that, and then there was still no way to. God, dude. Has to feel so powerless knowing you can't do anything. Crocodile is such a monster. Is that Pell? Is he okay? Oh my god, he's alive. Why does it sound like he has a plan? He sounds so calm. He always just wanted to protect her. Where is he, by the way? They showed that Igadam was alive, and then it's just like, yeah, anyways, back to our regularly scheduled program. He always just cared so much for her. <laughs> just anyone that he needed to to protect her yeah he didn't see it as fighting no Oh my god. What an absolute legend. Are you serious? I almost realized it as soon as I saw him land. I was like, what could he possibly do? And then I realized they intentionally made the bomb that way to where he could get like his talons in it. I was like, oh my God, they're actually gonna have him do this. Like I said, dude, him and the other like right hand man of Cobra have been the breakouts of this entire arc. Two that have just completely defined giving their own selves for not just the king and his family, but for the country itself. I think this is like a, a very direct comparison, but it rem reminded me of uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Like him flying away with the bomb at the end. I mean, of course, <laughs> this came first. What an absolute legend. I'm still a little bit confused on the whole thing with Poison and, and Luffy. I don't know if it's hinting towards something bigger, like Luffy is maybe uh, immune to Poison to an extent. I don't know, but my goodness, this, this climax of this arc has delivered on every front thus far. The rematch between Luffy and Crocodile, the sacrifices needed to be made for the kingdom people are still fighting amongst themselves because they still don't even know what's happening the character development for just random characters it spiked to like tenfold even through just like the random fights like zoro and mr one not to say that was just like a small skirmish but it changed his character forever already guys that's been it for episodes 124 and 125 of our one piece watch through do drop us up on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace